Creating content as an online health and fitness coach is no longer about you just flexing your six pack abs and ladies just flaunting and showing off your guys' booties. Mm -mm -mm. Let's face it, there's so many people on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff that are doing that. They have six pack abs that are showing their booties and it's like a dime a dozen. It makes them not stand out, doesn't make them different. For you, the health and fitness coach, how do you stand out and make your content different from all those people doing the same thing and how do you attract high paying clients? My name is Eric Martinez. I'm one of the head coaches and the co-founders here at Dynamic Fit Pros, where my brother and I have helped over 800 coaches start, build, and grow their online coaching businesses. Here's the cool thing. A lot of people have found us through our content creation and a lot and all the strategies I'm going to be teaching you guys and what made us different and stand out from all the other people. And in this video today, I'm going to be giving you guys three simple strategies to just put straight into your guys' content that's going to help you guys, again, be different from all those health and fitness coaches just showing their abs, the females just showing their booties. So let's jump into it. All right, strategy number one, how do you position yourself as an authority in your guys' niche as a health and fitness coach? One of the biggest mistakes I see coaches doing is they just post for the sake of posting, right? To me, I'd rather say, you know, quality over quantity when it comes to my content creation. You don't have to post every day. If you're going to post half-assed things that have no intention and have no thought behind it, then again, you're better off not posting at all. So again, the biggest thing that I see people make mistakes is not understanding what their client's pain points, their wants, their desires, their needs, their future aspirations. Why are they putting their health and fitness in the back burner? Why are they thinking that they shouldn't sit there and invest in themselves and their health and fitness and why there won't be a snowball effect in their lives? Those are all things you guys have to really understand and start demonstrating and articulating in your guys' content creation. So again, I've talked about this in various videos and we have what's called an ammo formula that we teach in our Dynamic Fit Pros program. So the A is your guys' audience, the M is your guys' messaging, and the O is your guys' offer. If you do not understand who your audience is, is it males, is it females, what age range are they, what's their occupations, you guys are not gonna know who this person is. Then the messaging part, right, that has to match that audience. Like again, what's their pain points, their wants, their desires, their needs, what are they thinking? And then again, how do you, the coach, solve their problems with your guys' specialty and method? How do you get them out of pain and make a transformation? And then the O, guys, it's the irresistible offer. That offer has to be so compelling to where it has a specific outcome and a specific deadline that matches the, the messaging and it matches uh, the audience as well too. So without understanding those, you're not going your content is not gonna be intentional. So you have to you really have to understand the audience, the messaging, and the offer. Then once you guys do, okay, now you guys can sit there and test different forms of content. So you guys have value-based content, you have transformational based content, and then you have results-driven content. So again, value-based content is more of just like the how-to. So you could just be like, okay, how to get six-pack abs how to uh, do a squat. Those are all how-tos. When you do transformational posts, that's when you guys really challenge their thinking. And again, why are they sitting there like you know, putting health and fitness on the back burner? So you can call people out and say, hey, female moms in their 30s or you know, moms that just had babies, like why are you putting your health on the back burner? Why are you sitting there making all these, these excuses? That's more transformational because you're calling them out on their shit. And then again, like let's say you do something that's more results driven, right? That's where you're demonstrating like results. If you guys don't have uh, clients or testimonials right now, that's fine. You guys can do more results driven, uh, you know, posts just based on your guys' progress and document what you guys are doing. And again, the last point in this strategy is again, it just make sure your guys' content is high quality, guys. Again, it goes back to what I said in the beginning. Do not half-ass this. Again, this is a representation of who you are. This is your guys' personal brand as a health and fitness coach. Hold your guys' self high, raise your guys' standards, take good quality pictures, take you know good videos. I'm not telling you to get everything edited and polished and have all this fancy equipment, but again, you guys have iPhones, really good phones that create you know good pictures and good uh, videos. So again, do not half-ass it. Think quality over quantity when it comes to your guys' production on that and when you guys are coming into you know making different content and posts. Okay, strategy number two when creating content and differentiating yourself to stand out is having structure when you guys are posting. So when I say having structure, guys, like have a game plan. So now that you guys have your audience, your messaging, and offer, you know, pretty established, which I hope you do, there's got to be some structure in it. And again, be intentional with every single post you guys make. It just goes back to what I said, the audience and the messaging, and then again, what's the call to action to get them to go to that offer? So again, post at the same times. 
Like if you're yeah, you know, doing reels, if you're doing like standalone posts, if you're doing swipes, just keep it consistent, guys, and commit to a time that you're gonna post. Commit to a number amount of uh, you know posts you're gonna do throughout the week and day. And again, there's no excuse. You should always be showing up on stories no matter what. And again, you don't have to be polished when it comes to stories. Like just break out your phone, be real, doesn't matter if you just woke up, just be authentic guys and just show up on stories and do three to five stories just to give people value and inspire them. And again, just remind them that you're there. That's the, the key thing with structure. Understand this too. When it comes to your guys' content, what are you trying to do? You're trying to get people to know, like, and trust you. This is a people to people business. It's people by coaches, not coaching. And I'll talk more about this in the third strategy. But again, guys, like you have to sit there and, and get people to, to buy into what, what you do and who you are. So I think the best thing you guys can do, even with your guys' content to attract you know new clients is again, just be yourself. Talk about your guys' core values. Talk about what you guys stand for. Talk about your guys' family, if you have a family. Talk about your guys' faith. Talk more about just like, you know, like your guys' story. Maybe you guys have been through some crazy stuff. Like talk about that so people can be relatable to you and be like, man, like that's why that coach is my coach because he has been through that. She has been through that. Her values, his values are just like mine. Like, absolutely. I'm going to keep like, you know, looking and, and, and consuming this person's content. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are sharing everything like your guys' values, show behind the scenes, take them through a day in your guys' life, show them uh, what your guys' uh, programs look like, show them like your know, client testimonials, because what that ultimately is going to do, guys, it's going to build trust with your guys' audience and your guys' you know, future clients. And if you, that's one of the biggest like digital currencies is again, buying people's trust. Because if you have the, the type of mindset where it's like, it's all about you, people are gonna see that. So you have to acquire that mindset that look, this business is not about me, it's about helping and serving other people. So regardless if I, like, I'm not feeling it and feeling creative, I'm still gonna show up consistently because it's part of my mission and it's about helping inspire just one person that watches that piece of content or reads just that caption. All right, strategy number three for creating content and differentiating yourself from all the other coaches out there is stand out from the crowd. And what I mean by that, guys, is do not sit there and go look at other coaches, like, you know, Instagram profiles and their content and just literally plagiarize and just copy it word for word. Don't do that, guys. Like, I, I, like, to tell, I like to tell my coaches, like, go look at what other people are doing and use it as a form of motivation and inspiration just to get ideas because you guys can put your own twist to stuff. So again, be creative and be different when it comes to that. And the second thing I was saying, guys, is people buy coaches not coaching. Again, your clients are going to be paying you guys for hope, accountability, and certainty, and they want to be heard, they want to be understood, and they want to be valued. So again, how do you demonstrate that through your guys' content? I gave you guys a lot of different examples on how to do that. Just keep it real, show your guys' values, show the, show behind the scenes, take them through a day of the life, even show them, what, again, what your programs look like, the training apps, um, people that have gone through it talk about you know client stories and how they got results with you There's so many different ways guys that so you guys can connect with these people and just be human to human because at the end of the day It's like again most people and coaches. What are they doing? They're posting selfies. They're doing workout videos. They're showing their abs It's all about me 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 look at me look at my body and women Look at my booty look at my booty look at my flat stomach that stuff gets old guys There's so much out there. That's so it's just it's dead that doesn't work anymore. So again, be human, be that person that you know you are and just stay true to that. Don't try to be someone you're not. All right, let's go ahead and recap these three strategies that I talked about. So number one is how do you position yourself as that go-to person and that authority in your guys' niche as a health and fitness coach? The second strategy is again, having structure within your guys' content and being intentional. And the third one is how do you guys sit there and stand out from the crowd and be different and not again, post a bunch of six pack videos and just booty shots. So again, hopefully all those three strategies helped put those into action. And again, if you are a health and fitness coach, trying to go online, trying to build your coaching business, then again, guys, click the link below and book in your guys' free 15 minute, six figure roadmap call. Again, it's loose, leave your credit cards at home. We're not gonna sit there and interrogate you. We're here to help you just discover, you know, what your greatness is and really identify what are those roadblocks that are holding you back from taking action and how, do we, how, how can we help you guys be different from all those noisy coaches that are just doing the same thing. So again, book in that call in the description box and we'll love to see you guys on that call. But again, put these three strategies into action. I promise you, you guys will start seeing your engagement go up. You guys will get more quality clients and you guys will sit there and stand out from all those other coaches. I'll see you in the next video.